Paul, yo Congress, yo Congress, a message to the United States Congress. Let's be whack. You're going on vacation while you need to come back. Yo, Congress, you got to understand America needs a health care plan. We got mothers and fathers without no, no meds. And then we got six children lying in their beds. Yo, Congress, you got to understand it's time to get back, get a health care plan. Yo, Congress, we ain't going to listen. We know that there's been something missing. Yo, Congress, I got a question for you. Where did $187 million go that went to you? Yo, Congress. You got to understand America needs a health care plan. We, we got older adults choosing between food and meds. Now, that ain't what the Constitution said. Yo, Congress, you got to understand it's time America had a health care plan. Yo, Congress, here's the deal. We need it right now. Yeah, that's for real. Yo, Congress, you got to understand America needs a health care plan. Yo, Yo, Congress, I'm being for real. We need that public option, and that's the deal. We got people in the streets dying without health care. People in the house all in the fear. Now, Congress, you got to understand America needs a health care plan. We got people going to the ER room, and they send sick people home to sin. Yo, Congress, you got to understand America needs a public option plan. Some people will say we don't have no money. Well, man, isn't that really kind of funny? When it comes to wars, we got the money for that. But when it's for, but for health care, we're broke. Now, Congress ain't that whack. Come on, Congress. I'll tell you the deal. Two five, $2.5 trillion. Now, that's for real. Iraq, you got money for that. Well, how about you stop breaking our back? Get help. Good evening, everyone. And welcome to Humanity Matters. My name is Donna Wise. Hope all everybody is well. Here's your host of Humanity Matters, Albert Tercasso. Well, I want to thank Donna Weiss. I want to thank Kathy Payer. Of course, my co-host, Annette Mendel and Chris Weiss. Um, I'm going to give you a little pomp and circumstance, give you the, you know, hellos and everything. And uh, then I'm going to get right to the business at hand. And today, we're going to be talking about health care and money. Money and health care. And why Congress has been lying to all of us. That's right. They've been kind of being a little deceptive. But hey, I want to say hi to... Uh, Gentleman who beat the horn at me in Homestead, and he said hello to me when we were driving by. I don't know how he recognized me, but he did. I want to say hello to, um, can you give us the names, Donna Weiss? Lisa. Lisa. From Luciano's. Lu Lisa from Luciano's. Uh, so Chad. Chad and Tina. Tina. From Osceola Park, Bluefield, my hometown. And then also from... Ashley at the West Mifflin Bow Rex. Hello, Ashley and the crew. And the rest, and who else? Amy. Oh, I said it was Ashley because it's Ashley. I thought it was Amy, but it's Ashley. But you was right, and I was wrong, and then I was right. Hey, we made some bloopers here. What can I say? But I want to say hello to everybody that tunes in. And a little bit of a something something. Part of my show will be commentary as usual and opinion. Part of my show will be based on fact. All of my show ought to get you to act. Because when you hear what Congress is pulling, uh, I don't think the rest of us, we ain't going to be fooling. So you know what you're going to do? You're going to go to www.senate.gov, www.house.gov, www.care2.com. You're going to get informed. And then I want you to bug the living bejesus out of the United States Senate. Bug the living bejesus out of the House of Representatives. And do what you must do because by the end of the year 2009, we must not want, not want, we're not going to get that want. We must have a health care reform law. We've got to get the bill passed. Then it gets signed by the president. I pray no more. 
And when you hear why, you'll be like, you know what? You're right. So in the meantime, let's get down to the business at hand. Now I'm going to put on these glasses for a New York Minute. They probably do worse than better, but we'll see. Let me try to read something here. I hate reading on camera, you know that, but I got to do what I got to do. All right, hold on. Oh, man, it makes it worse. <laughs> it makes it worse. I'm taking them right back off. Oy, oy, oy. First of all, some will tell you that if we get a health care plan, it's going to be socialized medicine, that you're going to be forced to leave your doctors and whichever plans you're in now. You're going to have all that, right? Well, that's been the propaganda. That's been the deception. That's been the trick to try to get, to get each and every one of you and us to say we don't want this health care reform. But here's a little bit of what we call reality. By the way, what I'm about to read to you now does not come from me. It comes from www.whitehouse.gov backslash health insurance dash consumer dash protections dash question mark letter E equals nine and then the um, percentage or the N actually the N symbol reference equals tech text actually but you can go to the whitehouse.gov site the whitehouse.gov so this information that I'm about to read to you didn't come from Albert Turcaso. It came from a little old place called the White House. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Then I'm going to pass it over to Kathy and Annette and all over the place. And we're going to open up more tanks of whoop butt than ever been whoop, I mean, opened before. And yeah, I made a few bloopers, so maybe one day we'll have a bloopers reel. And I don't know when, but we'll have it. All right. All right. Here's some of the provisions. No discrimination for pre-existing conditions. No exorbitant out-of-pocket expenses, deductions, or co-pays. No cost sharing for preventative care. No dropping of coverage if you become seriously ill. No gender discrimination. No annual or lifetime caps on coverage. Extended coverage for young adults. Guaranteed insurance renewal so long as premiums are paid. So, that's what it says. Let's throw it down a little bit. No pre-discrimination for pre-existing conditions. Let's say you have a propensity that somebody in your family, not you, but somebody in your family had cancer. Well, sometimes companies discriminate and won't give you insurance on that. But let's say you previously had cancer. Well, in most cases, you're not going to get any insurance because that's a pre-existing condition. This law, that, don't ha that won't happen anymore. So that means you'll actually have a chance at health care. But no exorbitant out-of-pocket deductibles or co-pays. Now, a little bit later, Donna Weiss will tell you about her mother on a tape rule and how even though she has coverage, she is forced to pay a bill that is worse than exorbitant because it literally could make them lose their house. So this bill that becomes law when it does because of you, that will save Donna Weiss's family. No dropping of coverage if you become seriously ill. Now, in case you don't know what the rundown is on that, many times people may have fantastic coverage. But then they become seriously ill, and the insurance companies find ways and loopholes to drop your coverage. So let's say you've been paying, diligently paying your insurance bill for the last 35 years. You've been working, eh, 35 years. In the 36th year, <coughs> excuse me for New York second, told you I need medical care, didn't I? <coughs> excuse me again. But at any rate, for 35 years, you've never missed a payment. Then you become sick, sick in your 36th year. Well, many times, the insurance companies will find clauses 